my name is Mark Newman and I am the artistic producer of the show. Planning starts over a year before. You, you have a, you know, probably a good hundred songs and lots of act ideas and then you have to trim it down so that what you end up uh, landing on creates a show that's got structure so that you have it acts with energy and excitement and then of course you've got to build, lower the audience's pulse rate and allow them to sort of rest and then build them back up again just so you don't exhaust your audience. I love the bath act. Um, you know, it's got a sort of, a, it's, it's very art house, it's got a nice dark twist to it. Where it looks like a young guy on stage, sniffing coke and drinking absinthe and shaving with a cutthroat razor and then you realise it's actually a woman. So it's a striptease with a real twist and uh, we call it the suicide act. She ends up getting in a bath and slashing her throat and wrists and all the blood um, drips down and then we have silks, aerial circus silks that come down. It's sort of like a continuity from the blood running and then she climbs up into that and does an aerial act. So I, I like that one. It's probably the more creative but also riskier too because when you go into new territory you wonder how the audience will respond. My name's Jane Newman and I'm the creative director. Mark will write the show and so I'll be in very early talks about it because he'll start saying things like oh, I've got this idea uh, for an opening we're going, thinking about using this song we'll listen to the music and I'll start thinking of what might you know what sort of images we could sort of start creating with everyone being so visual you know with with music videos and things like that I try and keep that sort of fashion trend and very modern feel about it the two most important acts of the show is the opening because it sets up the expectations to our audiences. So I like to work um, really hard on that first vision that they see when the lights come up. And the last one would be the um, finale. And again, I normally glam it up more, there's more sequins and things, because that's the last thing you usually take away. Also, the cast, after the show closes, come down in those costumes and people can have photographs with them. So obviously, um, you know, for me, that they're really important because those images are then Facebooked and, and, and sent, you know, and people really treasure the fact that they're in a costume from the show as well. I'm Jamie thomas Eels and I'm known as Tom around the traps here at Drax. Here as Dracula's prop and maintenance man. Um, and it's a pretty varied job and very hands-on. It incorporates a lot of uh, creativity, versatility, um, knowledge of trades and tools and materials you know latex and silicons and casting and sculpting and you name it we do it they call on us for all sorts of things mark usually gives me a a visual he'll he'll draw something up or he'll explain to me what he wants i get a lot of artistic license here um, but there are a few particular things that he says this is exactly how i want it and he'll come and check on while i'm building it and we'll you know throw ideas backward and forward and will make it work. Look, there's so many amazing props for the new show and I don't make them all, but things that I've been working on, my favourite is uh, <laughs> a six foot tall black light puppet called Zombina. And basically she's a very rotund, all singing, all dancing, burlesque zombie. And the challenges that she presented was our puppeteers need to work from inside her, so it's basically a suit, so it's a, ma a massive fat suit and I've never made anything like that before, so that was a real challenge and it was a whole lot of hours of um, sculpting and latexing and hand sewing and patience. But what's really exciting about it is watching her come to life, how the puppeteers and our crew are really doing amazing things with her and how they're making her move, so I'm finding that really exciting. 